Hey everyone, welcome to Car Talk. This is episode 6. I apologize that the last video was so dang long. I just went on a super long rant and uh, it was all political and it's kind of, you know, I was just, I was repeating a lot of things and I'm sure it got really annoying to you guys. Hopefully I'll get a lot better at this as time goes on, but truth be told, I've always been a lot better at writing than I have been at speaking. This is all improvised. It's all, like, it's unscripted. It's completely me just talking my thoughts, basically. And I'm not very good at that. I'm terrible at it, in fact. Um, I wish I wasn't so bad at it, because it doesn't seem that hard, right? But, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway... I, um, I'm, let's see, getting ready to go to my next class, which is band, and I decided to talk about music, because, you know, music is great. I freaking love music. Performance, I'm in, um, band and choir, and, um, I've also done a number of theater, uh, performances. Um, I've been in musicals. I've been in Shakespeare plays. So I've always been a big performing artist. I've always been a really good reader and writer. Um, and I can like express the thoughts that I write down on paper very easily. I can like read my, like a speech that I write and it sounds good. But the second I try and just wing it and start talking, it doesn't really sound good. Anyway, my music classes are some of my favorites. I love band. I play the trumpet. I'm I'm not the best at it, to be honest. In fact, I'm usually a fourth part. So So yeah, I'm pretty terrible comparatively to the other students at least. This is a college band. College is a lot harder than high school. Mm. Um, and yeah, so I play the trumpet, and, but, anyway, in band, I have to sit right next to my ex-girlfriend, which is extremely nerve-wracking for me. Uh, things between me and her are really, really awkward, and I'm pretty sure they always will be. Right. I was ready for, you know, I I was in a really serious relationship, and I was ready to step it up, and she just, well, she didn't even do it in person, she texted me, and then from there, she didn't ever talk to me, like, she won't ever talk to me, she literally runs from me, and I don't talk to her either, because I still like her a lot, and I she's got another boyfriend, um, I guess his name is Derek, mm. you know, I don't hate Derek at all, he's a cool guy, I just wish, I just wish that I could, you know, that this could settle, that we could, that things could stop being so awkward between me and her, you know, and it's so bad, though, that it, almost gives me anxiety to have to sit next to her. I have to, I always have to look the other way because I can't, I can't even look at her. It's, it's so, so bad. But you know, I'm also in choir and that's something in general I, I have a lot more fun in, right? Um, I, of course, used to prefer band because I, I love playing, but, but, uh, my college experience has been, like, the opposite of my high school experience. In high school, the band was a much more tight-knit group, while the choir kind of had its niches. It's really the opposite in college, right? Well, obviously, there are groups of friends, and you don't really know everyone in the choir. We're, the choir is a lot more of, like, a big family, while the band is, like, groups who are working together, I guess. Every click. And here's the thing. I I get 
nervous in a lot of social situations, especially when I'm trying to make friends. So when I'm trying to make friends with people in the band, um, particularly my in my section, the trumpet section, and even if they're really nice people, I just feel like I... Well, I'm not joining the conversation enough, and I'm I'm leaving myself out, and anyway, I just, I don't know. I don't feel, I don't know, I don't feel like it's as open, openly accepting as my choir group. I'm also in, uh, I'm also in another chorus, a barbershop chorus called the uh, Color Country Chorus. And we had a concert for our Christmas concert at the Tabernacle not long ago, and it was amazing. I love these guys so much, honestly. And I can't believe the fact that literally everyone in that chorus, other than four of us, are literally old people. And I have such a good time singing uh, singing amazing harmonies with old people. And I, I just love it so much. You know, honestly, I was thinking about leaving Utah. I was thinking about leaving St. George. But because of this chorus alone, I think I'm going to stay here for at least a few years. I really, really want this YouTube series to eventually kick off. I don't think it will, at least for another year or two. But I'm hoping, hoping, crossing, crossing my fingers, that I'll get to 100 subscribers by the end of this year. Because I plan to make over, over, we'll say, let's see, there's 365 days in a year, right? I plan to make, we'll say, 500-some episodes by the end of the year. So we'll say one to three episodes per day, depending on what mood I'm in. Sometimes more, sometimes... But anyway, 500 episodes, or three, yeah, 500 episodes, 100 subscribers, that's one subscriber every five episodes. Can we do that? One subscriber every two days? Come on, guys, is it is it that hard? Just give me the satisfaction, please. If not, I'll literally have to just make a bunch of accounts by different names and start subbing to myself. Just kidding, that's so, that's so wrong. Why would anybody do that? Oh, I guess it's profitable. That just gave me an idea. What if you hired a dude just to sit around for 10 hours a day and make Google accounts and to subscribe to YouTube channels and like videos en masse? You don't even have to view the videos necessarily. Just literally click on the video, mute it, and then you can watch it in another tab and it gets its ad revenue and everything. So if you make like 10,000 accounts subscribe to a channel, view it, you know, you can, you can rig, uh, the system of YouTube by doing that. It's kind of, uh, interesting. So I'm surprised no one has done that. Obviously there are sub bots, like the channel T series is very guilty of sub botting. They also do a lot of other things. Like they started, um, their, their business by, um, using pirated songs. I mean, everyone's heard the song Congratulations by uh, PewDiePie, right? Go PewDiePie! Anyway, yeah. So, shit, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, rigging YouTube. So, yeah, that's possible. Um, but I don't want to use any sub bots because if I use sub bots, I won't be able to get play buttons. And I really, really want... In the next, we'll say, heck, 10 years. Give me 10 years, and I want a silver play button. Come on, 100,000 subscribers in 10 years. How hard can that be, right? And then once you hit 100,000, it starts growing so fast. So uh, we'll say a million in 15 years. Give me 15 years, 1 million subscribers. I know that's, that's, oh my gosh. That's kind of a crazy, a very, you know, self, I don't know, I don't know, kind of self-righteous thing to say that I could be that popular. There's no way it's possible, but, you know, it is possible. 
I believe in myself. I know this video series isn't very high quality right now, but it will be in the future. Give me, give me a few months. I can set up a good camera. I can maybe even buy a PC. So that instead of car talk, we can do desk talk or something like that. You know, and I can start streaming on Twitch and Mixer. In fact, my goal is by this coming summer to start streaming on Twitch and Mixer. And I may also start posting videos to BitChute in addition to YouTube. So I want to get my voice heard. I want people to know who I am. I want I want people to know my opinions. And I, I pretty much just want to talk about life. This is kind of like a daily vlog series, but it isn't edited at all. It's literally just me talking. And, you know, a lot of people like that. A lot of people like videos that are just of people talking. It's so simple. It's so, it's like one-on-one. -on -one. It's like you and I are having a conversation right now. Um, and the fourth wall is very clearly broken. I'm not a character. I'm a human being. With um, a lot of things on YouTube being so dang corporate today, it's hard to find, um, sometimes it's really hard to find channels that are authentic, right? And that's what I aim to do. I aim to put the authenticity back in YouTube, and I'm hoping that I can do that by reaching 100 subscribers by the end of this year. Can we do that? Thank you, please, to help me reach my goal like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with everyone you know, help me get the word out there that I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of this year. It's barely January. It's the second week into January. Actually, yeah, it is the second week into January. Today's the 8th. Can we do it? Can we hit 100 subscribers by December 31st, 2020? Thank you. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.